So you're going to take a seat and sit yourself down, rooting your hips into the ground. We're going to take a few minutes just to breathe, getting big inhales, big exhales, and go ahead and reach your arms up above your head. Reach tall, inhale, and as you exhale, pull the elbows down. Every time that you reach, try to extend from the top of your fingertips to your root of your tailbone. We're just trying to create some connection in the body with the breath. Big inhales and big exhales, sinking the movement with your breath. Now from here, just shake it out. We're gonna do some rotations of the spine. So take the arms back up. You're gonna drop one hand behind, one hand in front, and just twist, looking over your shoulder. Focus on being nice and long in your spine, and then taking big inhales and exhales. You're not forcing it anything here. You're just taking your time, just breathing, just feeling your breath into your body. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Remember, you're staying long on your spine, rooting the tailbone in. We are just trying to warm up the body, wake up the body. This is a lot about activating the body and the muscles, so breath is a really important part of that. Don't stretch or don't push too much. Just take your time. Now from here, we're going to go into all four. So you're going to be on your knees, tuck the toes, knees under hips, wrist under shoulders, long spine. And we're going to do a little bit of just a cat cow here. So you're going to focus on dropping the stomach and then rounding the back. So bringing the spine up to the ceiling, then you'll drop the stomach down looking up to the sky. Again, we're just opening up the hips, opening up the spine, warming up the shoulders. Take your time here. I'm doing about four reps per each move. So that can be a good thing for you to figure out what your speed and what your cadence is. And again, take your inhales and your exhales, pressing the hands into the ground, big inhales and exhales. Nice. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our ankle mobility. So you're going to go into a half kneeling position, take one foot forward, you're going to be a 90 degree angle. I want you to take one hand and push your heel into the ground, take the other hand and put it on top of the foot. Now just move your body like you're kind of threading a needle, going back and forth. So we're trying to keep the heel down as you're moving. This is gonna really open up those muscles in the feet and the ankle, and again, I'm doing about four reps each side, but the goal is to keep that back heel down. So only go as far as you can with the heel down. You can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want, but the goal here is just finding that movement. After four rounds, switch sides, same thing, half kneeling position, plant that heel down, put your other hand on top of the foot, and slowly begin to move back and forth. It's a nice, gentle rocking. The focus really is on the muscles and the feet. So you'll probably even feel the muscles in your feet and your ankles maybe move or shake or quiver a little bit. It's just waking them up and getting them nice and mobile and moving. This is all about activation. After about four rounds, go ahead and switch sides again, that half kneeling position. We're gonna do a kneeling quad hip stretch. So that same position, but now we're gonna push our hips forward as you reach your arm across the body and give me a nice twist. So this is just opening up that hip flexor and now the foot and the ankle are already mobilized and warmed up. So you can get a little bit deeper into this stretch. Exhale as you press out, inhale as you come back. Again, do about four reps. Once that feels good, you're gonna switch sides. Same thing, half kneeling position. And go ahead and move across the body, pushing that hip forward. So the knee that's down, that's where you should be feeling that stretch. So think about the hip moving forward, less about the front knee moving forward. Generate the movement from the hip. After you've done your four, we're gonna go into an adductor stretch to stretch that inner thigh. So go into all fours, take one leg out to the side, straight out from the hip, and you're gonna push the hips back and then come back to stack the wrist over the shoulders. So just going back and forth, you're gonna feel that stretch in that straight leg and that inner thigh. Again, the whole process is we're moving from the feet, the ankles, to the quads, the hips, and the inner thighs to really support all the muscles around the knee as well as the joints. Once you've done four, go ahead and switch sides. So all fours, kick that other leg out on the other side, straight leg, and then shoot the hip back. 
and then come back to that tabletop position. It's so important that you use your breath as you do this, so that way you don't get yourself holding your breath or tensing any muscles. We want to mobilize and activate, not freak the muscles out. Nice. After you've done your four, we're going to go into a hip hike or a dom dog situation. So you're going to tuck your toes under and you're going to push your hips up. Now the goal here is to find a space that feels really good. I like to bend my knee so I can get a little bit deeper into the stretch first and then I straighten out my leg. So you can go straight into a straight leg or not. And if you want to take a few knee bends, so just bend the knees, straighten the knees. You might find that each time that you straighten, you get a little bit more like your hips higher and you feel a little bit more in that movement. Or you can just hold a static stretch, but I like a little bit of movement. And then go ahead and pedal out your feet. Just pedal out left and right. Now the focus here is on really feeling your toes bend and feeling that stretch in the heel and the calf as you pedal through each side. So slow it down, take your time. This isn't about perfection or looking, you know, perfect in the form. It's about really feeling those muscles in your toes, your feet, and your ankles. Now come into a plank position and walk your hands back to your feet to a standing position here. Now what I'm doing is I am having my feet a little bit wider. I'm going to put my hands down the ground. And from here I'm just holding. Just taking a moment and then slowly bringing myself up, rolling through the spine. So just taking your time here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some heat moving in the lower body. So I'm just kind of shaking my legs out a little bit. Now from here what we're going to start first, we're going to do some squats. So let's do about four squats. Just down and up. At this point, you should feel your knees are warmer because you've mobilized the ankle, you've mobilized the feet, you've mobilized the hips. So everything should feel good. Now we're gonna go into a kickstand position. So you're gonna have front foot forward, back foot, toe down, heel up. We're gonna do some kickstand RDL. So just shoot the hip back and stand tall. It's like an RDL without the weights, so but we're keeping that foot down just to stabilize that front foot a little bit. Again, we're doing this for about four reps. When you're done, switch sides. Front foot is firmly planted, back foot, toe down, heel up. Reach towards the ground in front of you by shooting your hips back, keeping your back nice and flat. This is a nice, easy way to warm up the glutes and the hamstrings while also giving the knees a little bit of action without too much strain. Now from here, we're going to go to some more squats. Give me four squats here. Again, we're keep building up the heat with that lower body, and hopefully the squats should feel easier, feel better each round. Don't focus on getting super low, just focus on movement. Now let's go into some balance. Place one foot on the ground, bring the other foot up, and just hold. Again, you should feel that foot in the ground. You might feel it moving or wobbling. Drive your toes, drive your feet into the ground. Really start to warm up those ankles and then switch sides. Same thing, root that standing foot, bring the other foot up and just hold. Stabilization, balance, it's all a part of ensuring that the lower body is activated and working. Nice work. Now from here, all I want you to do is do some toe raises or calf raises, I should say, toes down and just lifting the heels off the ground, just waking up those calves, still moving the toes, moving the feet. And back for one more round of squats here. Down and up. At this point, the squat should feel pretty good. And you can keep on doing this to get even better with those squats and that lower body.